All right, everybody. Well, since the start of the pandemic, there has been a profound shift in women's roles with schools shut down, job losses, and forced work from home scenarios. Moms have been shouldering the growing weight of caring for their families during the lockdown. Joining us live now, Erica M and her company, M and Co, surveyed over 700 moms to see how they were faring. Wait till you hear the results. Good morning, Erica. How are you? How's life at home? Oh, well, I guess it's okay. I mean, I'm lucky because I have teenagers. I don't have little toddlers that yeah. are locked up in their homes or school age kids. Um, so I'm luckier than most, but mm -hmm. it's a tough time for moms these days. It really is. So let's take a look at some of your findings. Uh, the first up is that only 7% of moms describe themselves as doing well. Yeah, this is a troubling number. Listen, I am sort of the unofficial spokesperson for Canadian moms. So I know what's going on in the world of social media and what moms are saying. And I had this inkling that moms were struggling. But when we sent out that survey, when we saw that only 7% of moms were doing all right, that is a huge, huge number. And what that means is not what moms should be doing to take care of themselves, but it is important for all of us who are around moms to understand that moms are crying out for help. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do to help moms? And it's no surprise, 50% of moms surveyed said they're struggling to juggle work and helping kids with school, with 80% of moms saying their biggest struggle is worrying about kids and family physical and mental health. It's how do you balance any or all of those things? Well, the thing is, there is no balance. That's mm -hmm. one of the many things that have been lost for moms. Uh, moms say that they have, 63% of moms say they don't have any time on their own. They're spending their time either working if they still have a job, if they haven't been laid off yet, or if they haven't left their job in order to stay home to take care of their kids because there's no childcare anywhere, or schools. So moms are in a really difficult position right now where they're having to leave the workforce to take care of their kids or if they're at home trying to take care of their or do their jobs at home while they're managing their kids and providing them with the daily things like lunches and mom, 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 mom. Meanwhile, employers expect productivity. Yeah. So it's a no-win situation, and I'm really hoping that not just moms are watching this, but HR yeah. departments and employers are watching this to understand the state of mind that moms are in right now and the reality that if they're expecting moms to produce what they used to in this kind of a situation, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that employers need to be compassionate and they need to be way more flexible. I know people right now are shouting at the screen saying thank you, thank you so much because it's that fear of losing that job that you have where so many don't even have one to go to because you can't possibly keep up. There needs to be that slack. So much so, 63% of moms are saying the supermarket is their getaway or the bathroom. That's, the, that's where they're finding serenity. Well, I don't even know if they'd call it serenity, an but escape. I think that it's an opportunity to step away from their children for a mm -hmm. few minutes. Moms are really saddled with 24-7 with their kids. Listen, we love our children, but it's not healthy for anybody to be stuck in close quarters like this with no help. Yeah. That's the big one. And when I say help, I mean, of course, child care. Um, and then, obviously, there's all the extracurricular activities as well as school. There's nowhere where their kids are going to give moms a few minutes to get what they need to get done, including some self-care. Yeah. So no, no wonder why women's mental and physical health is a huge struggle these days. It's, it's a huge challenge. Yeah, and speaking of physical health, everybody wants to get out of this as soon as we can. And we know the vaccines and the rollout of those and the distribution are a huge part of that. That being said, 31% are not sure about the COVID-19 vaccination. So you said there's a lot of misinformation out there. Yeah, I think to some degree, I understand mom's hes hesitancy to get their children vaccinated because there's been no research. However, there has been significant amounts of research 
about the vaccine and how effective and safe it is. And right now, what's interesting, when you look at our stats, 75% of moms say they're spending more time online. What's troubling is that there is what's called an infodemic right now, which is mm -hmm. a, a, like a pandemic of misinformation. So I understand that moms desperately want to take care of their families and make sure that our, their children are safe and that they're safe and healthy. However, they are going online for information about vaccines they're looking for nice and shiny websites that give information that is not accurate. So I'm imploring parents to when you go online and see someone tweeting or Facebooking some information about vaccines, look it up, make sure it's coming from a credible source. And you know that term critical thinking, use it. Say, hmm, what does that person stand to gain why yeah. is this not information in the mainstream? Why would the government want to be harming us when they're spending billions of dollars to get a vaccine in place? Listen, we all want to get out of this situation. We need vaccines in arms. Erica, thank you so much. Please come back anytime you can because this is the conversations we all need to be having, right? Literally for Absolutely. our health, our mental health. YummyMummyClub.ca for more information. Stay safe, stay well, and thank you. Right now, You're we're going out with your headlines.